Okay, I'm talking with Akim from Aldebaran, and he's de developing the Now robots. I'm developing the community of developers. Ah, okay. The community of uh, developers who is going to uh, develop the applications. So Now robot is a development platform similar to a, to a smartphone where developers would be able to um, create applications and put them on the App Store so that uh, the end users would be able to download them. So that's, oh. uh, that's the aim of the developer program. Okay. So, and, and your robot... It's, it's for universities, for students to learn to, to develop these uh, things. And, um, as well, as well, yes. And, and how do you do this? You've, you've got this kind of app? We have or this development platform? We have a, a software called Choreograph where you can actually uh, create uh, behaviors just by uh, using the box library and drag and drop boxes and then connect them between them. What you can see on the uh, right hand side, in the little corner, you can see a 3D model that uh, is going to uh, reproduce the movement that you just uh, uh, coordinated. Ah. Above, you can see the timelines for the motion, where you can re record the motion for uh, and drill the motors of the of the robot for each motor of the robot. So, so you don't need actually the robot to to program it. No, you no. can't. You, we also have a simulator so yeah. that shows you the environment in which the robot is, is mm -hmm. about to, uh, to navigate. And is it free software or do you, know, do, do you need to buy it or is it licensed? What? Well, for the moment, you, it's not for free. Yeah. But, uh, we have a trial version that you can, you can go and if you go on the website, you can use. Yeah. And, uh, but we're running Linux. So and we have an OS called Nowkey, yeah. and we are uh, sharing our source code more and more. Yeah. And so if you go on GitHub, for example, yeah. you'll find some projects. Mm -hmm. If you look for now, you'll find some parts of it. And it runs on Linux too. Yes. So it's, it's based on Java or the Linux Gen two. Okay. And, uh, yes. And you've got packages for, for Debian, Ubuntu? No, just Gen two or just Gen two. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So, and when you've got the robot, uh, how do you get the software on the robot? Well, the robot's got Wi-Fi, uh -huh. so it's as simple as going on the App Store, where we have the Now Store. You can go on the App Store and just install the, the applications from there. Okay, mm -hmm. and I guess I saw it backwards, they've got an Ethernet port and USB too? Yes, so you can go into it. Uh, we have some of our developers, they, they start hacking into the robot yeah. and they use the USB port to uh, connect some Arduino board and then mm. start doing like mm. with the Bluetooth con connectivity mm. more behaviors linked mm. to that. And uh, you picked, uh, like yesterday I picked one up, it's, it's quite heavy, it's 6 kilogram, I guess? It's less than 6 kilos, it's yeah. uh, roughly 5.3 kilograms, huh? yes. Huh? And and all the motors, how, how many motors uh, or actuators do you have inside the robot? 25. 25? Yes. So And, and can he grab something? You, you played before with a, with a ball, yes. can he grab the ball too? Or He can grab the ball, he can grab the ball, he can even throw the ball. One of our developers uh, created an application where he grabs the ball and throws it away. Oh, A bit okay. like in bowling, so uh -huh. not rolling on the floor, but just throwing it away. Mm -hmm. uh, so he can grab the ball. And, and, and these, these movements, you have to program them or, or yes yes so that's why the software is here for okay so you can create those uh, behaviors mm -hmm. where it's, you know grabbing the ball and throwing it by uh, by using our choreograph software mm -hmm. it's very easy to do and if you go into um, you know more advanced uh, coding you can you just have to go and uh, use the script editor and there is uh, these boxes contain uh, Python code mm -hmm. that you can uh, that you can edit yourself Mm -hmm. And do you plan to improve the robot, like oh, like yes. more sensors or what? Right now he's he's got eyes and ears. Yes, where he's got microphones and uh, yeah. cameras. Yes, yes exactly. eyes and ears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so we we are working on improving the robot. So we're working also, especially on the you know the charging part of the robot. We want to improve the battery life, the autonomy, and we want the the robot to be able to um, to connect itself without having you to plug it, for example. Uh -huh. So we have um, for the moment a prototype that we're working on, where the robot can go and plug itself in some magnet. Okay, so that he knows I, I need more energy. So yeah, let's exactly. get go to the charging station. Yes, yeah, so and he can connect itself and he can release himself uh -huh. from, uh, from the, uh -huh. the station. So uh -huh. that's what we are working. On. We're also working on, on the artificial intelligence. So there are, this robot we're always improving, and we want to uh, provide mm -hmm. the, you know mm -hmm. the right product. Mm -hmm. Can you start once again the, the, the introduction of his, himself? The presentation? Yeah.